Moulding's design was registered as a business in 1976 by Kevin Agar and Ian Blay, who raced Hobie Cats together. Because Kevin, a keen surfer, had some fiberglass experience, they started to produce storage cabinets for the sales and equipment in their garages at home. After moving to a small building in North Perth that was originally an old horse stables, they started to focus on architectural and industrial applications. With the business growing, they moved to a newer building in Stock Road, O'Connor, that was more suited to the larger contracts they were now targeting. Within a few years, they moved again to Flindale Street, O'Connor, and during this time, they completed some major contracts to produce shopping centre furnishings, a range that, along with fire equipment cabinets, was a staple product they produced for many years, and in fact still do. In the mid-1980s, Moulding's design was the principal fabricator for the composite barrel vaults in the Forest Place redevelopment. The project itself was too big for any one company, so they outsourced some of the smaller components to other Perth fabricators, while still retaining control of the project. Moulding's design is now owned and managed by Steve Rowling. Located in Henderson, south of Perth, the core areas of its business are still architectural and heritage composite mouldings, storage cabinets and equipment boxes, manufacture and services pertaining to the mining industry, transport and vehicle moulding specialising in bus panels, and special projects that include advanced moulding techniques such as vacuum infusion. In its over 40 years, Moulding's design has built up a body of work and experience that is hard to compete with. Some of its employees first joined the team in the 1980s, and even some of its newer members have been here for 12 or 13 years. So, if it's an experienced team you're after, we are the ones to talk to when it comes to your composite needs. And you can find us at 20 Posner Way, Henderson, right here in Perth, Western Australia.